Not yet. Not already. Not for you. I can throw you out, you know. Um, lots of people in this room from different parts of our lives. Uh, some from the very beginning, when Drew was yay tall. Others uh, more recently, but everyone's made an impact on uh, Drew and us, and, and we thank you. So, let's get the tears out of the way first. <laughs> um, today, very transformative event. Uh, we're happy everyone could be here. Uh, you know, we've had several other milestones along the way. This one's different. Each time before, go home at night, and Drew is going to be there. And uh, as he moves on, that's going to change. But it's, it's how it should be. Uh, we're proud of him, and we're, we're, all, we're all happy. Uh, no rule book on how to get to this point. Everyone has helped. Everyone in this room, somehow, some way, has helped us at times. Happy, sad, they've helped guide us. Uh, and we thank you. So, um, as, as Drew goes off to uh, start to make his own decisions, you said to me the other day, you said, uh, boy, give me a strange dad, just living by myself. And it's almost like it just kind of, it just hit, yeah. you know? We're just sitting in the kitchen and it's like this reality just hit him. So, uh, it's true, it's gonna be different for you, it's gonna be different for us. Many people in this room have kids approaching that age or have gone through it. And there's no, uh, you know, it's like, side of your brain that controls deductive reasoning fights with the emotional side of your brain had 18 years to prepare for this doesn't matter it's not enough time because it's different but um, it's great we're proud of you um, so as we send you off in August to you know you'll be on your own except mom got an apartment down there I don't know if I told you <laughs> It's not on campus, it's 0.6 miles away, so she's not going to be there every day, it's all good. But um, I heard something in a talk recently and it resonated with me. He didn't read it, but he referenced it, and so I kind of was thinking about what I'd like to say today, and I looked it up. It's called The Father's Prayer for His Son. Uh, it's actually by General Douglas MacArthur, back in World War II, uh, moved to the Philippines, wrote something to his son. Um, basically, as he was away, he's calling on a higher power, whatever beliefs you have, as we turn you over to, you know, lack of daily guidance from us. Uh, whether you wanted the guidance or not, you got it. <laughs> You're not gonna have it anymore. Um, so I'll call in whatever troops I can to sort of keep you happy, safe. So. Again, this is a prayer, not a poem. I didn't write a poem because it'll make me cry. And that would be bad. <laughs> so it's, uh, I'm going to read this. Build me a son, O Lord, who will be strong enough to know when he is weak, and brave enough to face himself when he is afraid. One who will be proud and unbending in honest defeat, and humble in gentle victory. Build me a son whose wishes will not take the place of deeds. A son who will know thee, and that to know thee himself is the foundation stone of knowledge. Sorry for the snots. <laughs> Lead him, I pray, not in the path of ease and comfort, but under the stress and spur of difficulties and challenge. Here let him learn to stand up in the storm. Here let him learn compassion for those that fail. Build me a son whose heart will be clear, whose goals will be high, a son who will master himself before he seeks to master other men. One who will reach into the future, yet never forget the past. And after all these things are his, add, I pray, enough of a sense of humor so that he may always be serious, yet never take himself too seriously. Give him the humility so that he may always remember the simplicity of true greatness, 
the open mind of true wisdom, and the meekness of true strength. Then I, his father, will dare to whisper, I have not lived. Congratulations.